Hi friends, Sparklet here. It's a beautiful summer day in Latvia and we are driving from Madonna town to Riga city, making two stops, picking wildflowers and learning the history of Liepkalno, Maiznica and surroundings. Watch and enjoy. What do you got there, Lydia? I'm picking, I don't know the name of these flowers. I've seen Latvian bee botanists. They smell so nice. Oh, they're very nice. Wow. These are wildflowers, folks. All wildflowers, yes. These like wet area, the ones which I'm picking right now. Right. And then, look behind me, the yellow. That's the wrap seed. The yellow is wrap seed. You, they may coil out of that. Well, it looks very good with your color dress. Thank you. They're beautiful. And I will show you the blue ones, where I've picked the blue ones. All right. So we've got a blue field of wildflowers. These are wildflowers, folks. I've got enough. For All right. For All right, then. Let's get back on the and road. I've got a little mothers. You see beautiful mothers. All right. All right, enjoy ah, your flowers. And I have a nickname, Mada. Mada. It comes from Madras. Yes. And Madaji. Oh, Madaji. <laughs> comes okay. from me. Our next stop, Liepkalno Bakery, where we always have a cup of coffee and enjoy the amazing surroundings. Today, I will tell you a little bit about the history of this place and around it. Bakery is located on the right bank of the Daugava River in the lower part of Daugava near the town of Pljavinus. The ancient valley of Daugava is the most transformed natural area in Latvia. In the past, the section of the Daugava River between Pljavinus and Koknese was the most beautiful. The river flowed in a deep canyon like valley and dolomite cliffs up to 15-20 meters high were exposed on the banks. It was one of the most popular tourist destinations even 60 years ago. Now all that is covered by the Pljavinu hydropower plant water reservoir. With the construction of the Pljavinu hydropower plant, Stabrux went to the bottom of the Daugava River, but the Koknese castle ruins, which once stood on the top of the hill, are now at the water level. And Wollinkan's mound is 350 meters long and 130 meters wide island. Tourists can take a boat and see it from the side of the Daugava River. Liepkalni Bakery. We always stop here to drink coffee, eat lunch and buy freshly baked bread or smoked meat on the spot. Any passers by do, but do they know how this place came to be? I researched it. Before the war in Latvia, bread was baked in every farmstead, including in the house of Liepkalni, in Naukšen Parish, a good landlord, Janis Menzinch, farmed. He owned a large, well-kept farm Liepkalni, which was established in 1928. Rye and barley were sown in Liepkalni fields. This usually like to grow, I will show you, where they, where they grow grains. Oh, where they grow That's wheat. wheat. That's wheat. Wheat, yeah. Look they at that. Wheat, not wheat. Rye bread, you do. Rye bread. Rye bread. Wow. Yeah. Here, let so me show. Let me show that rye bread up close. And uh, those flowers like to, to grow in the rye bread. Fields. Nice. Maybe I gave you the wrong one. I think. No. This one will be correct. I think you gave correct. This one. Yeah. It's rye bread seed. Very strong. I'm gonna eat mine. I did, yeah, you can eat it. It tastes good. You get blue flowers always. Of course, it tastes good. That's why we grow them. <laughs> in the fall, the golden grains that have fallen in the mill are milled. Rye for rye bread, 
by Berli for Karasha. On Saturdays, the hostess, tying a white scarf around her head, mixed the bread in the abra, lit the big bread oven and put the big round loaves of bread on the oven with a huge wooden spoon. Soon the whole farm smelled temptingly of fresh bread. Owner Janis always kissed the first cut piece. The owner of Liepkalny knew his special techniques and recipes he had collected over the years, according to which the baked bread was especially soft and filling. In 1992, brothers Dagnis and Didzis Chakuri established the farm Liepkalny in Naukshen parish near the border of Estonia, recovering the grandfather's land of 42 hectares and started growing grain. From the grain they grow, they began to bake bread, not only for their family, but for surrounding parishes also. In January 2006, they opened another bakery, equipped with the latest technology in Liepsalas, on the banks of the Daugava River, near Plavinas in Klintainas Parish, what you see now. This bakery, which is under the same roof as a shop and, and a cafe, is popular with many motorists. It's located on 117 kilometer of the Daugava Highway. If you are lucky, you can buy locally smoked pork here, very tasty. It's not smoked every day, it's smoked from time to time and people usually buy it out very fast. Lokstenes Shrine is a shrine opened in 2017 on the Daugava Island. It's named after the nearby flooded Lokstenes Mount. Special organized events for the gods, as well as the Latvian calendar and national holidays are celebrated here. You can stay longer time at that place if you wish. You can rent a boat take a hotel and enjoy a few days on the nature, but we are leaving our direction Riga. This is my first film from the series with a car around Latvia. In the next films I will show you my other favorite places that can be seen in Latvia by car. Like and subscribe to my channel, watch my films and enjoy your life, your sparkling.